Today we will talk about the top 10 places to visit in Singapore. Hello viewers and welcome to my channel. Before starting, support the channel by liking this video and subscribing to this channel for future updates. Singapore has been described as a playground for the rich, and it's true that the small city-state does have a certain sheen of wealth. But Singapore offers more than just high-end shopping malls, luxury hotels, and fine dining, though it's worth indulging in those a bit if you can. There is also a vibrant history and diverse ethnic quarters to discover. Along with many family-friendly attractions and lovely public spaces that make exploring this slightly futuristic city worthwhile. Singapore has an excellent public transportation system that makes sightseeing convenient and easy. For ideas on things to see and do, watch our list of the top attractions in Singapore. Number 10. Clark Key. The center of commerce during the 19th century, Clark Key lives up to its legacy as a busy hub. Today, it has a more polished sheen, so after a long day of shopping on Orchard Road, visitors can happily head to Clark Key for an evening of waterfront dining and entertainment. River taxis and cruises also depart from here, giving tourists the chance to admire some of the city's historic bridges and view landmarks like the Merlion from the water. The key's biggest hit with younger tourists is a giant bungee jumping attraction, an adrenaline-packed thrill ride. Number 9. Sentosa Island. Singapore isn't exactly known as a beach destination. But if you're really craving some fun in the sun, Sentosa Island is the place to find it. Siloso Beach is a good spot for getting in beach time. And visitors can play volleyball on free courts or go kayaking and skimboarding. There are several other beach attractions as well plus an underwater world aquarium, where you can swim with dolphins. A must-see on Sentosa Island is the Merlion. Singapore's famous statue that has the head of a lion and the body of a fish. You can take an escalator to the top of the statue and enjoy panoramic views of the surrounding area. Number 8. Chinatown. If you've ever visited China, Singapore's Chinatown neighborhood will bring you right back here. From the small mom-and-pop stores and authentic Chinese food to the bright red lanterns, there's excitement and hustle in this district. You can visit the Chinese Heritage Center and see the impressive and beautiful Sri Mariamman Hindu Temple. Another temple worth seeing is the Buddha Tooth Relic Temple. This is a progressive neighborhood, with free Wi-Fi for all, and it's home to the trendy Anxiang Hill area, where the quaint bistros and upscale boutiques could be at home in any western city. Number 7. Raffles Hotel Singapore. This colonial building is one of the world's last grand 19th century hotels. Once visited by literary luminaries such as Rudyard Kipling and Joseph Conrad, as well as movie star Charlie Chaplin. Built in 1887, the property has served as a city landmark for well over a century and continues to live up to its Tony reputation with excellent food and service. The classical architecture and tropical gardens provide a refined setting and represent another facet of Singapore's varied and rich history. The Raffles Hotel Singapore is located in the city's colonial district, which is also home to several other historic sites, and a good place to base yourself in the city. Number 6. Singapore Flyer. If the observation deck at the Marina Bay Sands doesn't quite do it for you, try taking in high tea while looking out over the city from the Singapore Flyer, the world's largest giant observation wheel. Choose from several different packages that allow you to be served and pampered while enjoying a view that encompasses not only the Singapore skyline, but as far away as the Spice Islands of Indonesia and Malaysia's Straits of Johor. There are several different ticket packages to choose from, and each includes access to the Multimedia Journey of Dreams exhibit, which delves into Singapore's history and the creation of the Singapore Flyer. Number 5. Orchard Road. One could be forgiven for coming to Singapore and doing nothing but shopping, as this is a world-class city for style and designer chic. The Orchard Road area is a great place to start a shopping spree, as there are high-end stores at every turn. You'd expect nothing less from a neighborhood that boasts 22 malls and 6 department stores. There are also 4 movie theaters, including an IMAX cinema, and a KTV karaoke establishment. If you get hungry while burning through all that cash, there are plenty of eateries in the neighborhood serving international food. Number 4. Singapore Zoo. Billing itself as the world's best rainforest zoo, the Singapore Zoo is a pretty impressive place. 
The facility is clean and inviting, and the animals appear well treated, with plenty of lush vegetation and habitat space. The orangutans are particularly impressive, and visitors can watch as babies and adults alike swing high above their platforms and snack on fruits. There is also a large chimpanzee family, zebras, meerkats, a Komodo dragon, mole rats, white tigers, kangaroos, and many other creatures. Guests can observe feedings for some of the animals. Allow at least three hours to make your way around the zoo. Number 3. Botanic Gardens. Not to be confused with the gardens on the bay, the botanic gardens are also worth a visit. Singapore received its first UNESCO World Heritage nomination for its botanical gardens, and with good reason. The city can sometimes feel like a concrete jungle, albeit a clean and comfortable one. But the botanic gardens preserve pieces of Singapore's wilder heritage. Here, a walking trail leads to the garden's heritage trees, which are conserved as part of an effort to protect the city's mature tree species. Make sure to visit the impressive National Orchid Garden as well. Other popular things to do include visiting the Eco Garden, Eco Lake, Bonsai Garden, Sculptures, and several other formal gardens. Number 2. Gardens by the Bay. Once you've glimpsed this beautifully designed green space, from the top of the Marina Bay Sands, perhaps, you won't be able to stay away. Wander through the Bay East Garden, perfect for enjoying the vibrant plant life and escaping the city bustle for a moment. You won't want to miss Super Tree Grove where you'll find a cluster of the iconic, futuristic structures designed to perform environmentally sustainable functions. Then, head to the Cloud Forest Dome to see the world's tallest indoor waterfall and learn a bit about biodiversity. Number 1. Marina Bay Sands. The opulent Marina Bay Sands Resort Complex includes a high-end luxury hotel, a mall with a canal running through it, the Art Science Museum, and the Marina Bay Sands Skypark Observation Deck a vantage point for taking in the entire city. The Skypark's viewing deck and infinity pool are found in the ship, yes, ship, that tops the hotel. Only hotel guests are allowed to use the infinity pool, but anyone can visit the observation deck. From the Skypark, you can see the innovative double helix bridge, the port. The gardens by the bay, 101 hectares of land converted into waterfront gardens, and the impressive skyline. The elegant opulence of the Marina Bay Sands exemplifies Singapore's style and status as a major international city in Southeast Asia. Which place you loved the most? Tell us in the comment section below. And if you have any questions or suggestions then feel free to mention them in the comment section and we will surely respond to your request. If you like this video, don't forget to press that like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching.